Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Ostrov Alpha 5 and our No Outsiders Challenge. So, the game itself has actually gone through quite a few updates and uh, bug fixes and such since I last played. However, we are still under the slight issue um, because this is an Alpha 4 generated map that we cannot use the iron mines because there are no iron ore deposits on the map so that is going to be once again the only thing that we are importing we have tons and tons of iron there so we will not need to import that for quite some time now let's have a look at our people we have quite a major gap but we do have a couple kids growing up again it's gonna take quite a few years for for them to get to an age where i can actually well they can actually be useful um we do have some children that we can use as labor but i want to keep them in safe jobs uh we are how many houses do we have three one and it's going to be two okay now, what we need to do is we need to annoyingly, really quite annoyingly, go for, if I can find it, go for the brickworks, which is going to be really, really frustrating and that I think actually quite difficult to do just because of the limited amount of people that we have. However, because of the options that it gives us, I think it's quite important that we... I can't, I can't actually remember where it is. Where is it? It's quite important that we get the uh, barber and surgery. It is quite important because the last thing we need happening is for people to die. This is absolutely the last thing we need to happen. Uh, now, we can't get any animals because we'd have to import them. And we can't import them. So we're going to have to skirt around everything that uses animals. So obviously that's no chickens, no pigs, no horses, no cows. So we're, we're already limited by a bunch of stuff through that. Because obviously no chicken groups, no cow sheds, no dairy, no pig sty, no sheep farm, no slaughterhouse, no tannery. No iron ore mines, it doesn't exist on the map. <laughs> I think we can do lime works and quick lime i can't actually remember what, what lime is used for uh we can't do tailor's workshop because we can't get textiles and stuff no weaver's workshop no shoemakers no filling mill no saddlery no salt works because we need horses to pull the stuff inside that we can't get horses however we can do brewery and distilleries but obviously we need bricks for that so that's a pain in the ass now to go down the brick route to actually get the bricks works we need clay sand water and charcoal oh dear <laughs> clay sand water and charcoal and a crap ton of stone so we have clay where can we build a sand pit it's right over our goddamn field isn't it brilliant where else did we find that we can build a sand pit? Is it going to be something that really annoying? I suppose we can pop it down there. But that would be something really... That's going to be a pain in the arse just because of the amount of places we have to... go to to get sand. That would be the obvious place, but we don't want to... Actually, I wonder... Can we specifically... Where is our forestry? So we are removing those trees. Okay. Can we specifically remove... Can we re specifically remove those trees a little bit faster? Because we need to get on with things. Also, I've paused for a moment. Because I need to go and check what we actually need from the farm. All fields, except for that one, are good to go. So we will have... Where is that? That little one. Okay. Now... What do we need? We have potatoes, which I think were expiring as far as I saw. We need buckwheat. We actually have, where's our storage? I can't remember where I put our 
Oh, storage. Here we go. No, that's the warehouse. Do we not have a granary? We do have a granary. Okay, so flowers about to go. Potatoes are about to go. Okay, let's do that as potatoes. We have tons of sunflower oil and we are using it and we're not exporting it, so and it doesn't expire, so that's good. The wheat we can hold on to. Everything else. I think we might as well do. We might as well do a thing of wheat. We might as well do a thing of wheat. And then we will just let the other ones be as they are. Because I don't think. Unless we want to. We can make clothes out of hemp, can't we? Let's try hemp. Let's try getting ourselves some hemp, because I, I believe we can make clothes out of hemp. Especially if we don't have leather. Right, so people are getting rid of that. How much space do we need? Just those three. Okay, can you prioritise... Prioritise those four. And then we can get the sand bit down. In addition to that, we need to build... Where are you? A stone mining camp. Now, I think there's stone down here, isn't there? Yeah, there's loads of stone down there. Perfect. We can build that right smack bang. Actually, let's direct it towards the... We might as well direct, direct it towards the... Bingo. That's just wood and nails. Perfect. So, we can get that going, and then we can get slowly towards the brickworks which I think probably I might build here I might build that here anyway just to keep everything close and uh, close and local I think it's those those three I really need to get rid of to be able to fit that in because unfortunately they're in that corner now we might just I think we should delete that I think we're just going to delete that okay so now it's just those two trees that need to be removed Perfect. That makes things a lot easier. Right. How are we doing on this? You are constructing. Uh, we need people to be fishing. Are we storing fish? Or do they expire? I need to have my markets up. I don't think we have any fish, do we? Oh, they do expire because we don't have any salt. Arg. Right, we have people looking for jobs. I can't afford to have more than one of you on there. That needs salt, so I can't do that. <laughs> and I'm not going to cheat and import salt. We're not going to do that. We are not going to cheat and import salt. So that's fine. Once one of them gets trashed, he can go back and use the other one. That's absolutely fine. What else have we got going those are still maturing, those are still maturing, those are still maturing. Hey, oh, right. Sand pit can go up. So, we are on to harvesting season, and we have a few developments. First of all, our apples are ready, and they're already <laughs> degrading, which isn't good. Secondly, we have already gotten enough stone to, uh, to build our brick works. So as soon as that tree is gone, then that will be going up ASAP. Over here, we're trying to clear some trees to build ourselves a tavern. And, most importantly, we've gone over 30 people. We are at 31. We've had four people be born this year. <laughs> four of them have been born this year. Absolutely ridiculous. So many people. Now, it's going to be interesting as they get through their teenage years. I, uh, yep. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have a male teacher. Sorry. We need the men for other labor jobs. As they get through the years, we're going to not only have more and more people going through the school. No, stop. Maybe I should wait until the uh, planting season's over. Maybe that's where all the women have gone. 
Not only am I going to have a bunch of people growing up and I'm going to have more workers, we're going to have to build more houses, we're going to have people going through school, we're going to have a bunch of new buildings that we're going to have to work with. So this is definitely going to be taking a very, very different direction to my normal playthrough. Not only because we haven't got a half the stuff that we normally do, but also because we're going to have to be a lot more strategic with how we use things. Damn it, I need that one tree gone. Get rid of that one tree. <laughs> Get rid of the one tree. Uh, unmark them because we don't... That's fine, we don't need them. Just get rid of that. And then... We start building our brickworks. Boom. Oh, I'm not sure I've left enough of a gap there. Not sure I have left enough of a gap for people to actually get round. I would say that's enough. That's one thing I've noticed over here. I haven't left a gap because of this warehouse. There's no gap for them to get back. So if they want to go to these benches, they have to go the whole way around. And it's not its not an end of the world thing. It's just a bit annoying, really. It's really not an end of the world. Right, so they're harvesting through my hemp. Which doesn't seem... Oh no, it does have an animation. They're just taking the tops off. Ah, I did not know. Right, so we're going to need one person in there to thresh the harvest and make sure our wheat gets put into our granary, which isn't even half or even a quarter full. So we're going to be using up those resources for a long, long time to come. I've got enough in the snow mining camp, so I don't need to worry about those. And we just need to get enough people for this, which is going to be a pain in the ass. So as soon as winter comes, we're going to dump all of the guys off of basically everything else that we don't need. And everyone is going to go to construction. You know, two and a half thousand wood, which we have. Okay, right. You come off there then and you're going to go on to construction as well. I don't know if we can have a female mayor. I'm not sure we actually need a mayor at the moment. Can I? No. I don't. Can I fire you? <laughs> I want to fire you. I don't need a mayor. Why? Why? Um. It won't let me fire him. It won't. Why can I not fire him? That's really frustrating. <laughs> right, you're selling fish. Do we have a storage of fish? We do now. Uh, no, I don't want to buy from local producers because I want them to sell first. Right. This is going up nice and speedily, so over the course of the winter, fingers crossed, we can start getting some um, bricks chucked in the kiln and making some bricks so that in year number five, we can start building some brickwork houses, which is insane to think that that's going to be a thing. We can actually build some brickwork houses. I'm slightly annoyed that I didn't... Oh, they've taken it all into there. That's why. I should have left all of the iron in the trading dock. That was silly. I mean, worst comes to the worst, we'll... Do you know what? Hmm. I kind of want to create storages of things so I don't actually need to be producing them and using up people. We're going to make loads of batches and we're going to have everyone under the bloody sun supplying you. I don't want children doing that work. <laughs> Slightly too dangerous. Oh my god, we had more people born. Oh no, we haven't. Oh no, we have. No, we haven't. They've just grown up somehow. It must have been at the start of the year that some people were born. Yes, there we go. So, that should get children in there. Because as far as I'm aware, from what I understand, is that past age eight, 
they start learning. Now I could be wrong in that, but that's what I understand is that past age 8 they start learning. It's also complaining that we have too many rich people, which we slightly do, but at the end of the day, it's a very small community. I'm not using... I suppose we can put the rent up a bit. I know we can't because we don't have a... We don't, <laughs> we don't have a town hall. No, honestly, I'm happy with the way it is. I'm genuinely happy with the way it is. Because we've... That's been hovering around 500. For the entire time. So I'm really not bothered. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm really not that bothered. We haven't taken any loans. We've started for 1,000. And we're going down to 500. But we have been building massively. So now we can just... Work, basically. And we, I think we're selling enough in the local economy for it to keep going. So I'm, I don't think I'm bothered. I'm going to keep an eye on it. But it's consistently going up and down by like 20 or 30 per year. So I'm really not bothered about it at the moment. Right. Get you off there. We don't need any nails at the moment. I was going to build... No, I wasn't going to build. I decided not to build a warehouse because we still have an open slot in that. So that's fine. We need focus on our brickwork, which doesn't have any workers. Why does it not have any workers? There should be people free for it. Why are there not people free for it? Oh, you're all in construction. That's why. Uh, idiot. There you go. Right. Get the brickwork going. I'm interested to know what I need. A lot of charcoal. A lot of charcoal. We are going to be eating charcoal. I think I might make some more charcoal pits. Because we are going to be literally going through this stuff like it's water. So, we need a thousand charcoal for each one. Jeez, that's a lot. 700 water. I don't know how much clay. Oh, a thousand clay, a thousand sand, a thousand water. And 4,000 charcoal. 4,000 charcoal per batch. Seriously? Is that an actual thing? 4,000 charcoal per batch? Holy crap. Okay. We might need a few more charcoal pits. Oh my god. No, I want to... Do that. I always end up rotating it the whole way around because I can never remember what the other rotation key is because I'm too lazy to look at the menu that's literally five centimeters below where I'm looking. <laughs> okay, that's. We might need people back on the forestry. <laughs> we might need people back on the forestry to start creating more firewood. Oh dear. Oh, so actually, that's gone now, so we can make our we can make our tavern, can't we? Oh, no, we can't, because we're waiting for that log to go. That's fine. Oh, my God, we're already halfway through January. Jesus Christ Almighty. Right. So, we're pushing our brickworks. We are about to clear enough wood, wood to make the tavern. We need to blast through wood production because we are going to be using so much charcoal. Um, we've got six charcoal stacks going. Obviously, we need firewood to make those charcoal stacks, so we need to push on that. Um, I'm going to drop out three of them so that that hires more people because we are going to be needing... Yeah, they're all going there to fill up this. Okay, this is... Uh, that's going to empty that 110%. Okay. We're along. We're going along the right, the right lines, but it's going to take a lot of work to do this. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gents, 
that is year number four. Going into year number five of our Strength Vanilla Outsiders Challenge. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. And I will see you in the next year. Despite the fact that we're already in half, well, half a month into year five. But we'll ignore that. <laughs>